Hello there Reefers, welcome back to another episode of Dreaming Reef. So for today's RFS tour, we are actually at SAS, which is our specialist aquatic solution. So let us head in and I will give you guys a tour around the shop itself. So first up, we actually enter is their livestock area. So their livestock area is actually being categorized into a few different areas. So I will actually walk you guys through on the different section of the area itself and I will highlight along the way on the couple of things that I really like and the things that is very unique and special. So the livestock area has actually been packed a lot with many many different fishes from all over the world. So I'll take you guys a tour, a very brief tour onto most of the little compartments here and I will actually pick out a few that it's very worth speaking of and also my favorite few fishes along the way. So SAS is one of the LFS that focuses a lot in quality fishes. So they even brought me a tour on how they quarantine their fish from upon arrival all the way to get them onto display and even on to get them to feed. So they have a couple of few different fishes here that even for very experienced aquarists like myself, right, find it very challenging to actually get them to feed. And they have a couple of them here that really catches my attention and a couple of features that I really want to share with you guys on the efforts that an LFS take to actually get all these fish to actually start feeding. So they do bring in a lot of different varieties of stuff. They have tanks all the way to angels, all the way to little antiers, so forth and so on. So I'll show you guys a couple of few that I really love. So first one over here is the portal angel. So Portal angels are notorious in not feeding. So I happen to stumble one that actually takes pellets already. So they really spend the time and really feed most of the angels here. And to actually see one that is eating pellets in an RFS really catches my attention. So we move over to the other section of their RFS, their livestock area. So this is where they mainly house most of their much more pricier fish. So like you can see over here, they have the jam tank. So it is the holy grail of all zebrazomas. It's the priciest, but now it's a bit of the either the black tank or the jam tank due to the Hawaiian band. And just beside it, they actually have a black tank as well. So I believe they have all the different zebrazomas here. They have the yellow tank, the jam tank, the black tank, even down to the scopas. Yeah, but except for the purple tank, maybe just because of not shipment yet. So they have a very beautiful Achilles on sale as well. So the Achilles tank is really by far one of my favorite tank. And I always emphasize this to newer reefers, right? Do not believe when people say that their tail drop is small as they get bigger, their tail drop gets bigger. No, always find a quality piece. Even when they are young, right? They Some of them do display that very big tail drop as well. So Sakura Antius, this is not one fish that I've seen very often in LFSs and to see one so bold, it really catches my eye because I've really seen Sakura Antius this bold and this confident in being so not camera shy towards the camera and as you see it comes all the way up to the front to allow me to get this very good image of it. 
So next is one of my favorite. I have this at home as well, which is the Rainbow Bracelet. So it's part of the Lopopoma family, and I've rarely seen such a small one. This guy is actually very tiny, and it really interests me a lot because I, I really do want to get this, but then I already have one at home, so it's kind of like a. Mine is pretty big. Mine is about two to three inches. Or this guy is at most going to about one inches plus only. And they have another bracelet here. I cannot really remember which bracelet is this. I can't really give you the exact scientific name of it, but I'm quite sure it's a Lipopoma confirm. And next up, they have the soldier fish. They have a couple of very interesting oddities over here. I haven't really seen a reefer with this in their reef tank yet, except for like supreme corals who have one at home. But then. It's pretty interesting. If you have one, do notify me about that. So aside from fishes, right, they do have a huge selection of designer clowns as well. So they bring in a lot of different designers from all over the world. So I will show you guys a couple of designers that they have right now. Like mentioned before, they have the Picasso, and they have a lot of snowflakes. Though they have like your snowflake clowns. They have it in the orange. They have it in the black. They have the mocha variants. And the quality of the snowflakes are pretty interesting and they're pretty good. Like I will show you guys a couple of the snowflakes along the way. So they have this very cute pair here. They have these guys. So they are like your black storm clown, but however they are more towards the snow storm because they lack a lot of the blacks. And a full snow storm is actually like a full white variant of it. The more extreme snowflakes. So. They pair them up very nicely, they have one that is fully black and there's one like a mocha variant. They have the other type of snowflakes with the extreme bullet holes on them. So very interesting, very nice. I'm always a huge fan, like you guys all know, I'm a huge fan of clownfish. So I do spend quite a lot of time actually looking at clownfish. So these guys over here actually reminds me of my previous black eyes pair. I used to have a very, pair, a very nice pair of black eyes at home. And these guys are also the black eyes, the snowflake variants. And aside from the designers, right, they do have your bread and butter, your black peculiar clowns as well. So aside from the clowns, we move on to the next section. So these are the middle rows along the area where they have your typically your Bali shipments over here. So they have one of these golden angels. So if this guy is actually eating in the LFS, it will be really very amazing. And if this is eating right, trust me, I will go straight down and pick it up. I have kept gold flakes my sorry, golden angels myself, and trust me, these guys are notoriously hard to feed. They have a very amazing queen angel as well. So for you guys who know, right, I am changing my five feet to a fish only tank. So this is one of my options. They have the Sunburst Antius, also one of my favorite Antius. I really like them because I'm, I'm the kind of the unique guy where I don't really like these slim, slender Antius. I'm more of the showier, larger Antius kind of guy. So they have the Blue Eye Apogongs, or if I'm not wrong, they are Apogongs, or they are the Glass Eye Cardinal Fish. These are interesting because if you keep them in a big school, right, they look very, very interesting. And they are very pretty if you see them in close because they have these very nice bluish sapphire eyes on them. And they always stay in this school. So if you have a large amount of them in a very large showy tank, right, it's really pretty. They have all the dark features as well. Okay, so we move over to their coral display right now. So from the last time that I've come here, right, they actually increased their coral display to a couple of lot more tanks right now. So these two tanks that I'll show you here, right, it's really by far one of my favorites already. They have a lot of LPS, a lot of SPS in it, and it's really the hobbyist kind of frat tank because the effect lighting is really just pops. As you can see, the scollies here, the colors on the scollies are just amazing and it really makes me want to get a scolly and I am actually really planning to get one soon for my 4 feet reef tank 
so there's a lot to shoot so I am actually going really fast with all the videos on the different types of corals they have so mainly here is all the LPSs, they have your blastomusas all the way to your Akens and they have the Euphilias right before that and aside from all this right, they actually have a small section of the SPS corals so I really couldn't pick up the colors on the SPS but the SPS itself they are really healthy, they are really thriving and you can see how fluffy they are the polyp extension in all of them is just right out so I've never really tried all these LPS myself also because I am some I'm somewhat of a euphilia to a softy guys because I really love a lot of movement in the tank they have very very nice show size elegance as well so as you guys can see, the elegance is huge, they are fluffy and they are fat. So let's take a look at some more different types of coral before we actually move over to the back. The back area has, consists of two more frag tanks where they have mainly a few more different types of hard corals in here. So this is the back area where they have two frag tanks of a couple more different hard corals. So they have stuff like your chalice corals, and they have it in different color varieties so one of it that really catches my eye is this one with the purple and the yellow eye on it just right beside it they have one of my favorite LPS coral which is the Gonioporas, the Aviporas and as we go along the way right they have a lot more different types your Akens they have from small little frags all the way up to very good sized colonies for you guys to pick from and amazingly is that all these corals are very very healthy because not just they are puffy and fat right when you pick LPS you always want them to puffy and fat most of them have their polyp extend out and they are always out for food so this is one coral that really catches my eye and I really like it a lot because of the coloration in it so it gives that very nice mystic sunset kind of coloration on a coral like this so I have never really tried to keep chalices the more encrusting corals on my own so this could be one of the reasons that I may go into that category so they do have a lot more different types of your brains, your favias and then they have this huge section of euphilias right at the end again so the hammer corals so these guys are huge huge they're not just small little frags but these guys are huge as you guys can see over here i cannot really tell you guys how big these guys are but trust me they are big so for those of you guys who want a show size colony right this is one place to pick up huge euphilias and next up we move to my favorite part of this whole coral showcase right is these two small frag tanks over here so yes they are actually housing a lot of not the euphilias again so these guys are they do have like torch over here a lot of different type of torches and let me give you another picture of frog spawns so i'm a huge fan of frog spawn but this is what i want you guys to be looking at so they advertise there that it's from $50 to $200 so there's a lot of things to pick from here and yes, they are your mushroom corals so they have a lot of different types they have your Yumas all the way to your Ricordias to your Discosomas and it's just so many different types of mushrooms going on in here that it's really very hard to pick the right one everything in here I really want to have something at home so I'll just browse you through on how many mushrooms are there in these two frag tanks and I will actually showcase a couple of things that I really like a lot so this one thing here that really catches my eye is this cluster of discosoma so if I'm not wrong there's one over there that looks like the Captain Marvel this is the next one that really catches my eye this red disco with this very very nice minty specks on them this over here like I mentioned earlier it looks like a Captain Marvel, I have one at home right now, it's very similar, this is one beauty that you must have. So this is like a variant of your Candy Crush Discosoma, I have one at home as well, and they are really stunning, the orange is really really bright, 
And when it comes to Yuma, right, this place here have a lot of different colors, a lot of different malls of them. And to my Recordia friends out there, they do have a huge selection of Recordias as well. So in this mushroom section, right, there, there have to be something that you will definitely pick one out. And on the more extreme right of it, right, we actually have a lot of different toads too. But as we pull out from the livestock area, right, we head into their dry section. So the store is packed load with a lot of different types of dry goods. So one that really I have to advertise outright is the Vitalis brand. So SAS is also one of those RFS that brings in a huge section of the Vitalis brand. So I am a believer of Vitalis because they are really one product that works really well for me. So I'm a huge fan of it. I love it a lot. I use it for not only just my fish but for my corals as well. And I have the couple of different varieties I have over here. So I have the algae pellets I use mainly for my tanks, the marine pellets for my clownfish. I've never really tried the flakes before because I don't really like to put my hands in water. So as we move along the show floor itself, right, we do see a couple of other different major brands out there. So they do have things all the way from your reactors to your monitoring devices like Senai. So I really like Senai, I really like Hana stuff because these guys really help you a lot and ease the reefing hobby by half of it with all the automated I, I'm a huge fan of automated system. So next right below it, right, they actually have like different treatments going on over here. They have very interesting smaller frag plugs that comes in different sizes. So you can actually pick up frag plugs over here as well from order to frag rocks and to the couple of different assorted coral frag plugs as well. So for the believers of the Tropic Marine guys, right, they have a huge section of the Tropic Marine supplements all the way to the additives and everything that you need to run a tank full with the Tropic Marine products. So this is one place where I actually really see so many of their products in. So we move on and we actually head over to their palm areas. So they are one store that actually bring in a lot of very good quality brands. So they have your Sea Chase, they have not only just the good quality brands but they do bring in stuff like Jbao and the other commercial brands out there as well. And just right behind it, right, it's the place where all the power heads, the power palms are. So we have all the, we have stuff from Tunzi, we have stuff from Ecotech, we have stuff from Jbao as well. So right below it, they actually have a whole section of the Tunzi product. So big fan of Tunzi, they've been out for many many years and I myself do love their product as well. So to the Red Sea guys, they have a whole selection of Red Sea products for you guys to pick from as well. So for every LFS tour, right, I will definitely showcase their displays as well, right? So same for SAS, they have a couple of different types of displays going on. So I will show bring you guys a tour on their displays in the shop itself. So this is one of their larger displays that they have. So it houses a lot of different large show size euphilias and they have a couple of other smaller LPSs. And aside from this, right, just right beside, they have a smaller tank that houses a pair of clownfish, a flame angel, a blue tank, and a soldier fish. And they actually have this very nice small little zoo garden right below it. But the very unique and the special tank that I will bring up next is what really makes them very different. So here it is, the main star, the main feature of this RFS tour, which is their huge display right in front of the doorstep. So this display here do not just serve a purpose as a display in the RFS but this is actually being built by the owners a couple years ago. So it actually went on to different exhibitions around the world. It been on to Akaroma before and the owners love for entiers actually being showed out in this tank. So first fish you see over here right, is the Sudentius, the Rubizonatus. So it's also one of my favorite antiers. I really like these antiers a lot because the meal itself, you can see, right, 
they actually portray different colors onto it so they have this very nice rosy pinkish face with this very deep red bar on them and then the tail itself right it just flush yellow and being the larger showy and just these guys just have this very nice fairy fins all over it so not just the entails they have a couple of different oddities in the tank as well they have a very huge show size Achilles tank with a very very beautiful teardrop right behind it they also have one of my favorite entails the sunburst entails perching out at the bottom of the rock world so the next really cool feature about this this whole display here right being such a tall display none of the corals here actually being held on by glue but everything in this tank it's actually being stacked nicely and being placed down nicely don't get me wrong not by divers or by people going in but everything in this display is actually being placed down with a tong so this is what really catches my attention a lot even being an aquarist myself right this it's a very hard to do skill because everything in this tank is show size it's huge it's big and not being able to go down in such a deep tank and being placed by hand it is really really hard i am just amazed by the size of all the corals they have in this display and how this display actually come together and to form this really beautiful natural scape that you see right now so this display itself really catches my eye and it also shows me how professional these guys are in actually scaping up this huge display right here so we have also come to the end of the video and i will give you guys a full look of the display itself a great big thanks to SCS for giving me this time to film everything a big thanks to Hui Shan for the tour around the tank this is really one amazing RFS to be and same to you guys i hope you guys subscribe i will see you guys real soon